woke up this morning in Port Canaveral. I'm so sad. I don't want the cruise to be over. There's Royal Caribbean out there. Everything is pretty much packed up, ready to go. I got today's outfit and a couple like random things to put away. But otherwise, we are getting ready to leave. I look a little rough this morning. I did not sleep well last night. We are officially back in Cape Canaveral and I'm so bummed. I wish the cruise was not over. Now I wish I would have did the seven day instead of five day. This cruise has been incredible. Like I said, I think on day one, I've heard some mixed reviews about Carnival, but we truly had the best experience. There were even some people in the comments on my first YouTube video saying like they wouldn't go on Carnival. And honestly though, even though it's my first cruise and I don't really have anything to compare it to, we had the best experience. Seriously, like one of the best experiences I could have ever asked for. This has been one of my favorite vacations that I've ever been on, especially with John. It was amazing. There was no better feeling than being out at sea. That's just something that I really love. I know the water is not for everyone and people get seasick and stuff, but I feel my happiest when I'm in the water. We have to drive back to Tampa today. I have, I think, one day off and then I have to go back to work, which is gonna suck because like reality setting it like vacations over. I have to go be a flight attendant again. Disney wish spotting. I wanna go on this cruise next so bad, but it's so expensive. One last breakfast. Clearly I took advantage of the free breakfast this morning. They have a whole buffet of things and I only got ham and pancakes and chocolate milk. That's what I'm gonna have. Well, we are ready to call Mustard Station A and Mustard Station B. It's time to leave. It's time to say goodbye to our ship. I'm so sad. just disembarked on the ship, off the ship, and I am so sad. We're waiting for our transportation now back to the parking lot to pick up our car, and then we have to start our two hour drive back to Tampa. We're already looking at booking our next cruise because we had so much fun and we're not ready for it to end. Not ready to go back to Chicago either tomorrow or the day after, I haven't decided yet, but we're just bummed because it came and went so fast. We just stopped at a restaurant real quick. There was a ton of traffic. We figured it'd stop, use the bathroom, maybe buy a drink or something, just to get out of traffic for 10 minutes. If you guys are from Florida, you know I-4 is a nightmare. If you've watched my vlogs for a while, I used to drive I-4 from Tampa to Orlando every single week when I was based there. And that road is just never not gonna be crowded and congested. It's not fun. And now the fun of laundry begins. There's gonna be so much, so much laundry to do, but all I wanna do is shower. Finally finished putting everything away. I accidentally just deleted the clip from my camera, but the whole floor was covered in our suitcases, clothes, everything. Finally got it organized. And now I'm working on the laundry. I need to organize this, put some away, put some in my suitcase for work, and find a home for all of these clothes. We just came to the grocery store because we literally have no groceries right now. We're making pasta for dinner, but we need supplies. Look at the sunset in the background though. How pretty is that? You don't get that in Chicago. I still feel gross because I've not showered yet today. Mm -hmm. 